ਦਾ ਖਾਲਸਾ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕੀ ਫਤਿਹ ਭਗਤ ਪਾਵਨ ਭਗਤ ਬਚਨ ਕਿਰਪਾਨ ਧਾਨ ਜੋਤੀ ਸਰੂਪ ਤਨ ਸਤਿਗੁਰੂ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਸ੍ਰੀ ਗੁਰੂ ਗ੍ਰੰਥ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਜੀ ਮਹਾਰਾਜ ਜੀ ਦੇ ਪਾਵਨ ਆਪ ਪਵਿੱਤਰ ਹਾਜ਼ੂਰੀ ਅੰਦਰ ਜੁੜਨ ਬੈਠੇ ਗੁਰੂ ਖਾਲਸਾ ਸਾਧ ਸੰਗਤ ਤੇ ਆਪ ਜੀ ਸਮੂਹ ਮਾਈ ਭਾਈ ਵਿਭਾਗੀ ਹੋ ਜਿਨ੍ਹਾਂ ਨੇ ਜੋ ਕਲ ਰੋਜ ਤੋਂ ਲੈ ਕਰਕੇ ਜੋ ਤੁਰਕੀ ਬਾਣੀ ਆਈ ਤਨ ਸਗਲੀ ਚਿੰਤ ਮਿਟਾਈ ਜੋ ਗੁਰੂ ਧਰੋਂ ਤਰ ਗੁਰ ਦਰਗਾਹ ਆਈ ਹੋਈ ਜੋ ਬਾਣੀ ਦੇ ਜੋ ਸ੍ਰੀ ਅਖੰਡ ਪਾਠ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਜੋ ਸਮੇਤ ਸ੍ਰੀ ਜਪਜੀ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਜੀ ਦੇ ਪਾਠ ਜੋ ਪ੍ਰਾਰੰਭ ਹੋਏ ਸਨ ਕੱਲ ਔਰ ਗੁਰਬਾਣੀ ਦੇ ਪ੍ਰਵਾਹ ਚੱਲ ਰਹੇ ਹਨ ਤੇ ਨਾਲ ਨਾਲ ਜੋ ਸ਼ਾਮਾਂ ਦੇ ਸੁੰਦਰ ਦਵਾਨ ਸਜੇ ਹਨ ਜਿਸ ਵਿੱਚ ਆਪ ਸੰਗਤਾਂ ਨੇ ਜੋ ਗੁਰੂ ਘਰ ਦੀ ਮਰਿਆਦਾ ਅਨਸਾਰ ਜੋ ਸੰਧਿਆ ਵੇਲੇ ਦੇ ਨਿਤ ਨੇ ਸ੍ਰੀ ਰਹਿਰਾ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਜੀ ਦੇ ਪਾਠ ਸਰਮ ਕੀਤੇ ਜਿਸ ਬਾਣੀ ਸਰਮ ਕਰਨ ਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਜੋ ਜੀਵ ਹੈ ਉਸ ਨੂੰ ਜੋ ਸਾਚਖੰਡ ਵਿਖੇ ਜੋ ਪੱਕਾ ਪੱਕਾ ਇੱਕ ਸਥਾਨ ਉੱਥੇ ਉਸ ਦਾ ਬਣ ਜਾਂਦਾ ਹੈ ਔਰ ਸਤਿਗੁਰੂ ਪਾਤਸ਼ਾਹ ਪਿਤਾ ਜੀ ਸ੍ਰੀ ਗੁਰੂ ਗੋਬਿੰਦ ਸਿੰਘ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਜੀ ਦਾ ਹੁਕਮ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਸੰਧਿਆ ਵੇਲੇ ਹਰ ਰੋਜ਼ ਗੁਰਸਿੱਖ ਨੇ ਜੋ ਸ੍ਰੀ ਰਹਿਰਾ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਜੀ ਦਾ ਪਾਠ ਕਰਨਾ ਉਪਰੰਤ ਆਪ ਸੰਗਤਾਂ ਨੇ ਜੋ ਗੁਰਬਾਣੀ ਕੀਰਤਨ ਅੰਮ੍ਰਿਤਮਈ ਗੁਰਬਾਣੀ ਕੀਰਤਨ ਸਰਨ ਕੀਤਾ ਹੈ ਸੋ ਕੁਝ ਕੁ ਸਮੇਂ ਵਾਸਤੇ ਜੋ ਸੰਗਾ ਵੱਲੋਂ ਬੇਨਤੀ ਹੋਈ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਕੁਝ ਜੋ ਇੰਗਲਿਸ਼ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਕੁਝ ਸਮੇਂ ਵਾਸਤੇ ਮੇ ਵਿਚਾਰਾਂ ਕੀਤੀਆਂ ਜਾਣ ਜੋ ਇਸ ਬੁੱਧਵਾਰ ਨੂੰ ਆ ਰਿਹਾ ਜੋ ਬੁੱਧਵਾਰ 25 ਤਰੀਕ ਨੂੰ ਸਤਿਗੁਰੂ ਗੁਰੂ ਨਾਨਕ ਦੇਵ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਜੀ ਮਹਾਰਾਜ ਜੀ ਦਾ ਜੋ ਅਵਤਾਰ ਪੁਰਬ ਆ ਰਿਹਾ ਹੈ ਔਰ ਸਤਿਗੁਰੂ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਜੀ ਦੇ ਜੋ ਆਉਣ ਦੇ ਕਾਰਨ ਤੇ ਕੁਝ ਕੁ ਸਮੇਂ ਵਾਸਤੇ ਜੋ ਬੇਨਤੀ ਹੋਈ ਹੈ ਸੋ ਰੋ ਬਲੈਸ ਟੂ ਬੀ ਸਾ ਇਨ ਦ ਸੈਂਕਚੁਰੀ ਸ੍ਰੀ ਗੁਰੂ ਗ੍ਰੰਥ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਜੀ ਮਹਾਰਾਜ ਜਿਹਨਾਂ ਖੰਡ ਪਾਠ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਬੀਨ ਗੋਇੰਗ ਔਨ ਸਿੰਸ ਯੈਸਟਰਡੇ ਵੀ ਵਾਲ ਲਿਸਨ ਔਰ ਪਾਠੇਕ ਇਨ ਇਨ ਦਿਸ ਦਵਾਨ ਇਨ ਦ ਈਵਨਿੰਗ ਵੀ ਵਿਲ ਲਿਸਨ ਟੂ ਸਿਰੀ ਰਹਿਰਾ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਦਾ ਪਾਠ ਐਂ ਗੁਰਬਾਣੀ ਕੀਰਤਨ ਦਿਸ ਕਮਿੰਗ ਵੈਨਸਡੇ ਔਨ ਦ 25th ਔਫ ਨਵੰਬਰ ਹੀ ਇਜ਼ ਦ ਅਵਤਾਰ ਪਰ ਦ ਕਮਿੰਗ ਟੂ ਥਿਸ ਵਰਲਡ ਔਫ ਸਿਰੀ ਗੁਰੂ ਨਾਨਕ ਦੇਵ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਜੀ ਮਹਾਰਾਜ ਸੋ ਫਾਰ ਸਮ ਟਾਈਮ ਵੀ ਵਿਲ ਰਿਫਲੈਕਟ ਔਨ ਦ ਰੀਜ਼ਨਸ ਫਾਰ ਸਤ ਗੁਰੂ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਜੀਸ ਕਮਿੰਗਸ ਬਿਫੋਰ ਸਿਰੀ ਗੁਰੂ ਨਾਨਕ ਦੇਵ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਜੀ ਮਹਾਰਾਜ ਕੇਮ ਟੂ ਥਿਸ ਵਰਲਡ ਮੈਨੀ ਅਦਰਸ ਹੈਵ ਕਮ ਇਨ ਪ੍ਰੀਵੀਅਸ ਏਜਸ ਔਰ ਵਿਦ ਇਨ ਥਿਸ ਏਜ ਆਫ ਕਾਲਜੋ ਅਕਾਲ ਪਰਖ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਇਨ ਦ ਮੋਰਜ ਇਨ ਦ ਓਨ ਵਿਲ ਹੈਵ ਕ੍ਰੀਏਟਿਡ ਥਿਸ ਵਰਲਡ ਐਂਡ ਦੇ ਹੈਵ ਕ੍ਰੀਏਟਿਡ ਹੰਡਰਡਸ ਆਫ ਮਿਲੀਅਨਸ ਆਫ ਵਰਲਡਸ ਦੈਟ ਐਗਜ਼ਿਸਟ ਐਟ ਦ ਸੇਮ ਟਾਈਮ ਐਸ ਥਿਸ ਵਨ ਐਂਡ ਔਨ ਕ੍ਰੀਏਟਿੰਗ ਦੈਟ ਦੇ ਹੈਵ ਕ੍ਰੀਏਟਿਡ ਸਰਟਨ ਸਿਸਟਮਸ ਵਿਦਿਨ ਥੋਸ ਸਿਸਟਮਸ ਦੇ ਹੈਵ ਕ੍ਰੀਏਟਿਡ ਜੋਗਸ ਏਜਸ ਐਂਡ ਐਸ ਦ ਏਜਸ ਹੈਵ ਕਮ ਰਾਊਂਡ ਥਿਸ ਟਾਈਮ ਆਫ ਕਾਲਜੋਗ ਹੈਸ ਕਮ ਇਨ ਥਿਸ ਟਾਈਮ ਆਫ ਕਾਲਜੋਗ ਸਾਧ ਗੁਰੂ ਗੁਰੂ ਨਾਨਕ ਦੇਵ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਜੀ ਦੇ ਸਾਲਸ ਟੈਲਸ ਡਿਸਕ੍ਰਾਈਬ ਟੂ ਅਸ ਦ ਸਟੇਟ ਆਫ ਦ ਵਰਲਡ ਬਿਫੋਰ ਦੇ ਕਮਿੰਗ ਕਾਲ ਕਾਤੀ ਰਾਜੇ ਤ ਸਾਈ ਧਰਮ ਪੰਖ ਕਰ ਉੱਠ ਗਿਆ ਸਤ ਚੰਦਰਮਾ ਕੂੜ ਅਮਾਵ ਸਤ ਚੰਦਰਮਾ ਦੀ ਸੈਨਾ ਹੀ ਕਹਿ ਚੜਿਆ ਦ ਇਨ ਥਿਸ ਟਾਈਮ ਆਫ ਕਾਲ ਜੋ ਕਾਲ ਕਾਤੀ ਰਾਜੇ ਤ ਸਾਈ ਦੋਸ ਰਾਜੇ ਦ ਪੀਪਲ ਹੂ ਆਰ ਸਪੋਸਡ ਟੂ ਬੀ ਦ ਲੀਡਰਸ ਆਰ ਦ ਕਿੰਗਸ ਆਫ ਦ ਵਰਲਡ ਆਰ ਆਫ ਸਰਟਨ ਏਰੀਆਸ they are the size they are those who are killing people themselves and that taram pank kar udh
the people who are supposed to be leading the people towards truthfulness were the ones themselves killing and doing wrong. And if we reflect on the times today, it is still in that state. Only those who have realized that true moon of Agar Burak Wahidu's message, that true message, that true Chandrama of Gyan, have they realized the true path and are they following righteousness? If you look to the world today, the kings or governments that are supposed to be helping or leading the people are taking them in the wrong way and those who call themselves religious are also taking people off the path. So Sri Guru Nanak Dev Sahibji, or Agar Burak Wahidu at that time, was watching and seeing how the world was how it was on fire with falseness, with false practices, with people thinking that they can meet God through doing ritualistic acts that have no real meaning, with no claim for Agar Burak Wahidu, and without actually realizing or reciting the Naam of Agar Burak Wahidu. And then Agar Burak Wahidu, in their Nirgun form, in their formless form, came and they listened. And Pai Gurdas, he described it, Suni Pukar Data Atra Guru Nanak Jag Mahi Prithaya. That Sri Guru Nanak Dev Sahib, the Akal Prakwahi, in their Nirgun form, heard the Pukar, heard the crying of the people of the world who wanted that path to oneness with Akal Prakwahi, who wanted that path to peace, who wanted to realize their purpose within this world of how they could break free from the 8.4 million births and deaths. And those people cried out to Agar Burak Wahidu. In whichever form they believed, they just wanted the truth. So the Nirgun, the formless form of Agar Burak Wahidu, in 1469, took the form of Sri Guru Nanak Dev Sahibji, the Sargun form, that human form of Agar Burak Wahidu. But there is no difference between the Guru and God. So Sri Guru Nanak Dev Sahibji comes to this world and on their coming, the world over celebrated. The world itself, the Takti itself, celebrated the coming of Sri Guru Nanak Dev Sahibji. The day that they came to this world, many different daily days they came and they did Pulla Di They got Chandan, many of the good scents, and they went and they sprayed them in that place where Sri Guru Nanak Dev Sahibji came to this world. So if Sri Guru Nanak Dev Sahibji has come to this world to deliver the truth and to break people free from the circles of births and deaths, what is that message of Sri Guru Nanak Dev Sahibji? What is that message that they brought to us over 500 years ago? And are we on that path to that message? Or are we still part of that Kalakarti Raja Kasai? Are we still being taken away by these so-called kings or leaders within this world? Sri Guru Nanak Dev Sahibji, their, their jivan is beyond the, one person with one tongue cannot do the ustad of Sri Guru Nanak Dev Sahibji. And a Kavi has written, Tare gene jar, tere tare na gana hai. That Sri Guru Nanak Dev Sahibji, you are so great that if on a dark, on a night where you could see all the stars, if one was to count all the stars in the sky and arm karke, that even if one tried and they tried to count all the stars within the sky, this Gavi has written that they may possibly be able to do so. But the amount of people that Sri Guru Nanak Dev Sahibji has liberated, has set free from these cycles of births and deaths, they can never be counted. And what is that path that Sri Guru Nanak Dev Sahibji brought? And why were they different to any other? that had brought a message previous. Well, first of all, if we look to the intellect of Sri Guru Nanak Dev Sahibji, from a young age, they were sent by their father to go into school and to learn. And when they went to the Mullah, when they went to go and learn, they went there and they ended up teaching. They told them the truth and they set them free. Everywhere where Sri Guru Nanak Dev Sahibji went, they liberated the people. In a young age, in their local area, wherever they went, the message that they gave, they were always different. And then they said that we should not partake in these ritualistic acts of the world. And they were born into a Hindu pravar. And when they were about five or six years old, the Hindus have the Janeo ceremony, where they get a tagga and they tie it around the males and they say that that will protect them and that will keep them away from evil. 
ਸ੍ਰੀ ਗੁਰੂ ਨਾਨਕ ਦੇਵ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਜੀ ਆਨ ਦਾ ਡੇ ਵਰ ਦੇ ਵਾਸ ਸਪੋਜ਼ਡ ਟੂ ਬੀ ਅਕੋਰਡਿੰਗ ਟੂ ਦਾ ਰਿਚੁਅਲਿਸਟਿਕ ਵਰਲਡਸ ਆਫ ਦਾ ਦਾ ਵੇਜ਼ ਆਫ ਦਾ ਵਰਲਡ ਵਾਸ ਸਪੋਜ਼ਡ ਟੂ ਬੀ ਗੇਟਿੰਗ ਬਲੈਸਡ ਦੇ ਬਲੈਸਡ ਦਾ ਪੀਪਲ ਦਾ ਡੇ ਵਿਦ ਦਾ ਟਰੂ ਮੈਸੇਜ ਬਾਈ ਸੇਇੰਗ ਦੈਟ ਥਿਸ ਪੀਸ ਆਫ ਸਟ੍ਰਿੰਗ ਦੈਟ ਯੂ ਹੈ ਪੁਟ ਅਰਾਊਂਡ ਮੀ ਥਿਸ ਇਜ਼ ਨਾਟ ਗੋਇੰਗ ਟੂ ਸਟੋਪ ਮੀ ਫਰਮ ਡੂਇੰਗ ਬੈਡ ਇਟ ਇਜ਼ ਨਾਟ ਗੋਇੰਗ ਟੂ ਸੇਵ ਮੀ ਫਰਮ ਥਿਸ ਵਰਲਡ ਇਟ ਇਜ਼ ਨਾਟ ਗੋਇੰਗ ਟੂ ਲਿਬਰੇਟ ਮੀ ਬਟ ਸਤਗੁਰੂ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਜੀ ਟੋਟ ਟੈਲਸ ਅਸ ਦੈਟ ਵਾਟ ਇਜ਼ ਦਾ ਟਰੂ ਜਨੇਵ ਦੈਟ ਵੀ ਸ਼ੁਡ ਬੀ ਪੁਟਿੰਗ and in asan divar they explain that that true janeev is of santo of contentment and of sat and that sat and that contentment of this true path so as guru nanak dev said he was going on their travels and liberating the masses sadguru guru nanak dev said he was starting to become recognized by all of those learned people of that time and at that time there were people called siddhs who had these shaktiyan had these things called siddhiyan they had these cultic powers and they were rated within society they could live for thousands of years they could perform many acts that one would think is not, are not possible and they would come and meet with sri guru nanak dev sahib ji and within gurbani we can see on many occasions where sadguru sahib ji has spoke to them throughout whole of japji sahib sri guru nanak dev sahib ji speaks to these siddhs and on occasions they would try to get sri guru nanak dev sahib ji to follow their path because they realized that they had the true message but they didn't want the true message to go elsewhere they wanted to take control of sri guru nanak dev sahib ji but little did they actually know that this was the form of agar pur wahid on the earth and when they would speak to sat guru sahib ji one occasion they asked sri guru nanak dev sahib ji that you are of great intellect you are of great teaching beyond your years who is your guru and this is one key teaching that i would like us to take away today that if sri guru nanak dev sahib ji came to this world to spread the truth if they are akal pur wahid guru who was their guru their guru sat guru guru nanak dev sahib ji said shabad guru sat tum ke la that the shabad the word of akal pur wahid guru is our guru and we follow that within our sat within our mind within our contemplation and we are the jela of that shabad what is that shabad that shabad is sri guru granth sahib ji maharaj that shabad is all of gurbani ਸ੍ਰੀ ਗੁਰੂ ਗ੍ਰੰਥ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਜੀ ਫਰਮ ਇੱਕ ਓੰਕਾਰ ਅੰਤਰ 18120 ਸ੍ਰੀ ਗੁਰੂ ਗੋਬਿੰਦ ਸਿੰਘ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਜੀ ਦੀ ਬਾਣੀ ਪਾਇ ਗੁਰਦਾਸ ਦੀ ਆਵਾਰਾ ਹੋਰ ਬਾਣੀ ਦਾ ਵੀ ਰਿਸਪੈਕਟ ਦੈਟ ਇਜ਼ ਆਲ ਬਾਣੀ ਐਂਡ ਸ੍ਰੀ ਗੁਰੂ ਨਾਨਕ ਦੇਵ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਜੀ ਸੈਡ ਦੈਟ ਦਾ ਬਾਣੀ ਦਾ ਵਰਡ ਆਫ ਅਕਾਲ ਪੁਰਖ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਇਜ਼ ਦੈ ਗੁਰੂ ਐਂਡ ਸ੍ਰੀ ਗੁਰੂ ਨਾਨਕ ਦੇਵ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਜੀ ਵਿਦਿਨ ਥਿਸ ਵਰਲਡ ਵਾਈ ਵਰ ਦੇ ਡਿਫਰੈਂਟ ਕਸ ਦੇ ਸਟੇਡ ਵਿਦਿਨ ਦਾ ਵੇਜ਼ ਆਫ ਦਾ ਵਰਲਡ in terms of their life span they stayed within what was normal within the world whereas other avatars would come and they would live for many thousands of years sri guru nanak dev sahib ji then where the world within the world is the reed that you must daran a guru you must have a guru you must get someone to be your guru and gurbani also tells us that without a true guru you will never be liberated sri guru nanak dev sahib ji when, when they went into nay bay nadi they went and they met again with the nirgun with the formless form of akal purkh wahiguru they taught them as their guru and when you taught a guru they give you a mantra they gave sri guru nanak dev sahib ji the mantra of the shabad of the word and sadguru sahib ji came back and at that time they recited the whole jab ji sahib they came back and they gave the world gurbani so what teaching can we take away from sri guru nanak dev sahib ji on remembering them this week sri guru nanak dev sahib ji gave the greatest respect to gurbani when sri guru nanak dev sahib ji were going to be married on their wedding they did not do the lama of the ag they did not walk around the fire they wrote mool mantra and that wall upon where sri guru nanak dev sahib ji put that mool mantra still stands today and at that time of the wedding sadguru sahib ji was questioned they said that wall is going to fall over sadguru sahib ji said this wall sadhya tak kithe rahi rahu ki kand until this day that wall is still there that wall is proof that sri guru nanak dev sahib ji gave the greatest respect to gurbani so what can we take away in this world in this time today when we are seeing the angs and angs sometimes you don't realize what it means in english ang does not mean page ang means limb so when we refer to sri guru granth sahib ji's angs we are referring to the limbs of sri guru granth sahib ji what's a human's limb a human limbs are arms our feet our hands and in this day when sri guru granth sahib ji's bhakti is happening on a daily basis we as sikhs 
should reflect that how much satkar are we doing for that Gurbani, that Bani of Sri Guru Nanak Dev Sahib Ji, that Bani that Sadhguru Sahib Ji said is their Guru. And we should reflect that are we giving the are we giving Gurbani that true respect? And we question that why is so much Vyadvi happening in this time? Maybe so much Vyadvi is happening because over 500 years later we still haven't realized the path of Sri Guru Nanak Dev Sahib Ji. We say we have, but we haven't. So two things. One, who did Sri Guru Nanak Dev Sahib Ji tar as their Guru Akal Purkhwahi Guru? Who should we tar as our Guru Akal Purkhwahi Guru in the form of Sri Guru Granth Sahib Ji in the form of the Panj Pyare? So we should go to the Panj Pyare, give our seas, and then we will also be blessed with Amrit Didar and with that Naam. And upon receiving that, then we can also be liberated. And what else did Sri Guru Nanak Dev Sahib Ji teach us? They taught us that the Guru, the Shabad, is the truth. So within our own homes and within our own lives, we should try to reflect how much respect do we have for Gurbani on celebrating and commemorating Sri Guru Nanak Dev Sahib Ji's Aftar for this week. We should reflect on where are we on this path of Tikhi and how much are we following the teachings of Sri Guru Nanak Dev Sahib Ji. So I just wanted to reflect on that much for today, that we should realize the Shabbat is the truth and we get blessed with that Shabbat, with that Naam, by giving our seeds to the Pandipyari. So I'm sharing these uh, Vitar, I would have made many mistakes. You, the Sangat, can forgive me, and you can hear the rest of the program from the Sixth Stage Secretary, Dilha Sajjan Asi Sariyan Dilhoa Sahib Sumer, Wahid Ji Ka Khansa, Wahid Ji Ki Fateh.